What is the deal, ladies and gentlemen? This is your boy, the one and only work birdie flies gamer on two feet. Got some of this ratchet and clank, and I can't tell you guys enough how much I would recommend this game. It is absolutely stunning. One of the best games I probably played on the PlayStation 4 visually. As for kids, it is just amazing. And I would recommend going out and paying the $39.99. And just giving it to a kid and making their day because this is the type of game that I like. Pixar animated. You have Ratchet, you have Clank, and you are just fighting these bad guys with these awesome but weird weapons that make the game so fun. I throw out disco balls and you just watch your enemies dance around and you get to hit them and you see the bolts flying everywhere. What an amazing journey this game took me on and I cannot I cannot stress it that this game needs to be played by every PlayStation 4 owner out there just to experience the sheer graphicness of what this game has to offer it took me on a journey and wow what a great great game I would say it took about six hours to beat it and I played it in short spurts and it always had me coming back for more just with the weird quirkiness of the game and the things that happen and it makes you feel like you're actually watching a movie that you're playing amazing insomniac Sony guys keep it up if this is what Sony is bringing to the forefront I don't think that we're going to have any problem with the visuals on the PlayStation 4K, Neo, whatever you want to call it, because this was pushing the PlayStation 4 boundaries, and it does it in a great, great way. I typically would not be interested in kid games, but the way that this game actually played out and the bosses being so challenging kept me in it for the long haul and I can absolutely tell you guys that this was a game that I bought and purchased and I was like kids come watch daddy play and that was the thing about it is because a lot of games that come out these days you can't actually show your kids that kind of stuff because the last thing I want to do is have my kid going to school talking about yeah my dad was playing Call of Duty in front of me and killing everybody that's a no-go in my book so to have Ratchet and Clank come out and be able to share this with my kids and my dad or my son and he comes home and he's like daddy can we play ratchet today and i'm like yes we can play some ratchet you know because daddy want to beat this so in that aspect of the game i would say it's a go-getter it's definitely a go-getter if you got kids around and you want to just be able to game it out because most of the games that i own right now I can't play no Doom in front of my kids. I would not do that. I wouldn't. That's like lightweight child abuse. You wouldn't want to do that. And when Sony creates a game like this that is geared towards kids visually and you can see them doing quirky, weird stuff like that, that's just, that's, that's, a, that's a go getter. And it's a money seller, a system seller. And I wish they create more content like this. Not to say that I don't like the blood and the guts and the gore and things like that, but. I also want to play those type of games in a private setting and I just want more games like this for, that I can have for my kids. So this is the last boss that you will encounter. It is a big spoiler alert if you plan on uh, fighting him but he is not easy so you might want to take some pointers from this little gameplay that I'm showing you. But I've been your host and your commentator. It's your boy Work Birdie. Make sure you like, share, favorite, and subscribe. And I'm gonna let this run. Yeah.
ready for the weekend.